Good morning once again from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where at this hour, flight controllers uh, here uh, at the Johnson Space Center, as well as half a world away at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karyov, outside of Moscow, are uh, continuing uh, to uh, work uh, to assess the overall condition of the ISS Progress 59 cargo ship, the unpiloted Russian resupply craft that launched uh, just under three hours ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. That launch occurred on time at uh, 2.09 and 50 seconds a.m. Central Time, which was 1.09 and 50 seconds p.m. at the Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan off of Site 31 and the launch pad uh, at that uh, remote uh, Central Asian launch complex. You see the replay of the launch uh, with the main engine start. Uh, the uh, engines came up to full speed. Uh, the hold down uh, arms uh, were retracted and uh, the three stage Soyuz booster and Progress 59 began their journey uh, to the International Space Station. This was intended to be a single transit for the Progress 59 cargo ship. Again, you're watching a replay of its launch that occurred uh, just under three hours ago. However, at the point at which uh, the uh, spacecraft separated from the third stage of the Soyuz booster, eight minutes and 45 seconds after launch, uh, telemetry issues cropped up where Russian flight controllers were unable to receive confirmation on the ground in Korolev that uh, the navigational antennas and the repressurization of the fuel manifolds in the propulsion system of the Progress had um, both activated and um, had deployed as planned uh, to enable the Progress to begin its journey to the International Space Station. So as a result, uh, shortly after uh, the uh, Progress arrived on orbit, the Russian flight control team uh, determined uh, to default from a four-orbit uh, six-hour rendezvous because of these systems issues with the telemetry system and uh, deferred uh, to a backup 34-orbit uh, two-day rendezvous plan, which is uh, always kept in uh, the hip pocket of the Russian flight control team in the event of systems issues that could crop up early in the rendezvous process for either a progress resupply vehicle or a manned Soyuz spacecraft. About an hour and a half ago over uh, Russian ground stations, uh, attempts were made uh, to send commands once again to receive telemetry from the onboard systems on the Progress 59 to determine uh, the overall health status of the Progress's systems, but there was no joy uh, in receiving uh, that telemetry on the ground. And so uh, we are standing by for the next pass over Russian ground stations that is scheduled about eight and a half minutes from now, uh, at which time Russian uh, flight controllers in Korolev will again send commands to the Progress 59 to try to receive uh, telemetry that will either confirm or not uh, the overall health of both the navigational antenna system as well as uh, the uh, propulsion system and whether or not those manifolds repressurized, which is key to enabling uh, the progress to conduct its burns uh, to reach uh, the International Space Station. The earliest progress can dock to the International Space Station now would be Thursday morning and a docking around 4.03 a.m. Central Time. But again, this is highly dependent, highly dependent on the overall systems of the Progress 59 and whether or not it can receive commanding uh, from the Russian uh, flight controllers in Korolev and how it responds to that commanding. The International Space Station at this hour is flying from southwest to northeast at an altitude of 257 statute miles uh, over the uh, northwest uh, portion of Africa on a, um, an orbit that will carry it over Morocco, uh, the northern coast of uh, Africa, and over uh, central Italy a short time from now. On board the International Space Station, uh, NASA flight engineer Scott Kelly has been working uh, throughout the course of the last uh, couple of hours on uh, the replacement of a distillation unit for the urine processing assembly aboard the International Space Station. Uh, that work is just about complete, and the uh, mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control reports that they uh, have a healthy uh, urine processing assembly system. As uh, work continues on board the International Space Station, the crew uh, was informed several hours 
hours ago that there would be no docking of the Progress 59 to the space station later this morning. Again, uh, that docking has been postponed to no earlier than Thursday, uh, and we'll see uh, as time goes on whether or not uh, uh, systems status on the Progress 59 cargo craft, uh, which is carrying over three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition uh, 43 crew, whether or not uh, the Progress can make it to the space station as early as Thursday. So we'll be standing by here as uh, the uh, Progress passes over Russian ground stations a few minutes from now, and uh, we'll be monitoring uh, uh, the Russian uh, flight control loops uh, to determine uh, whether or not uh, there has been any success in sending commands to the Progress and in turn whether the Progress is processing telemetry uh, through its onboard computers back to the Russian flight control team in Korolyov. How are you? This is an Anton. Can I speak to Nikolai, please? Yes, of course. Nikolai, before you fly away somewhere, we have electron uh, uh, low pressure message that popped up at 906. It might go to clear that message and the rest of the messages in the uh, log. Because yeah, that was about the time when uh, the uh, electron activation was taking place. That's why. Anton, give us a couple of minutes. We're going to look at our telemetry and then uh, get right back to you. And by the way, speaking of telemetry, do you know if uh, that was restored on the progress? They're going to have to do uh, some kind of restart because they have not been able to uh, recover telemetry flow now. So as soon as I've got something uh, of substance, I will let you know with respect to progress. Station Moscow Space Program 1 for Anton and the error messages on the uh, Central Post computer. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, just minutes away uh, from the Progress um, 59 cargo craft uh, passing uh, within range of Russian ground stations on uh, the second of its daily orbits. Uh, there are several more orbits of Russian ground station uh, telemetry processing capability uh, before uh, uh, the Russian ground station uh, capability expires for the day. So we'll be standing by uh, to receive any word on further uh, telemetry uh, or commanding capability to the Progress 59 and what uh, the overall uh, status of its systems may be. Station Moscow, Space Program 1. How about the messages on the laptop? Yes, Nikolai. Anton, you are going to clear the whole message log. It was all due to electron activation. So, uh, you heard uh, just a moment or two ago uh, Russian flight controllers telling Anton Shkaplerov, uh, the Russian cosmonaut, uh, one of three on board the International Space Station, uh, that they have no further news on uh, the uh, telemetry and commanding a status uh, of the Progress 59 cargo craft, that there may be a plan uh, required to restart uh, the uh, onboard computer on Progress in an effort uh, to coax it uh, back into a, a nominal telemetry processing capability. 
but again, uh, all this information is very preliminary uh, and without uh, a hard uh, set of data and telemetry from progress, uh, uh, the Russian flight control team continues uh, to uh, explore troubleshooting options, uh, the next uh, series of which uh, will be the result of uh, what we learn uh, as the progress passes over Russian ground stations with that pass expected to begin here shortly. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, once again uh, waiting for further information uh, from the Russian flight control team in Korolyov. Uh, you're looking at a view of their flight control room from a balcony camera. Very large flight control room uh, there in their control uh, center outside of Moscow. 59 Progress uh, should be uh, within range of Russian ground stations uh, or shortly uh, will be acquiring uh, within uh, Russian ground station coverage at which point uh, the Russian flight control team uh, will continue uh, its efforts to uh, establish a uh, stream of telemetry uh, to the uh, 59 Progress cargo craft.
This is Mission Control Houston. At this point, uh, Russian flight controllers are indicating uh, no telemetry being received uh, from the Progress 59 cargo craft uh, as it uh, passes uh, over a succession of Russian ground stations. So we'll be standing by for further information uh, as this pass continues. Go ahead, on two. Internet, I uh, am going to reclaim the water from the used uh, wastewater bag, and uh, I was wondering while I do that, could you take care of steps uh, one and two of the talk analysis procedure? Okay, copy that, Sam, and those steps are already complete. Awesome, thank you. Once again, uh, Progress 59 uh, launched three hours and ten minutes ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, passing over Russian ground stations, Russian flight controllers uh, attempting uh, to uh, acquire telemetry from the spacecraft and uh, to assess uh, the uh, current status of uh, the navigational antennas and uh, the propulsion system on the spacecraft. It uh, has been this uh, telemetry issue uh, with Progress 59 since it arrived in its preliminary orbit that uh, resulted in a default uh, in the rendezvous scheme uh, from uh, an approach and docking to the International Space Station later this morning to a 34-orbit uh, uh, two-day docking uh, rendezvous profile that if the Progress's systems can support would result in a docking to the Piers Docking Compartment on Thursday morning.
This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the uh, pass over Russian ground stations is now complete uh, on the uh, second orbit uh, for the Progress 59 cargo craft. And uh, as was the case uh, about an hour and a half ago uh, on the uh, first of its uh, completed orbits of the Earth, uh, no uh, credible uh, telemetry uh, was received on the ground uh, by the Russian flight control team uh, that could confirm uh, either the deployment of uh, navigational antennas or the repressurization of the propulsion manifolds in the uh, propulsion system of the Progress 59 cargo craft. So uh, that would appear to indicate no change in uh, the uncertain status of the Progress 59 systems. Uh, we are continuing, however, to monitor uh, for any additional information. Moscow Station Space Program 1, go ahead. I'm done with the experiment. There's a folder on OCA. I named it after the radiogram number. 
7782, and it's uh, zipped and ready to uh, grab. And Tom, which activity was it? You were a little choppy there at first. No, my experiment. Viru experiment. I'm sorry, virtual experiment. All right, copy. It's 319. Copy all. Thank you. Nicola, there was a cheapest radiogram that I was promised to receive today. Uh, Anton, uh, I know for a fact that the uh, hard copy was uh, making rounds here in MCC, getting all the signatures and the approval cycles and everything, so uh, it should be on its way to you. Okay, copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, once again, uh, the latest pass by the Progress 59 cargo craft over Russian ground stations uh, did not produce any uh, meaningful telemetry uh, received on the ground uh, there at the Russian Mission Control Center. Or uh, the ability uh, of the Russians uh, to place uh, commanding on board the spacecraft. So. Uh, no change in status uh, for the Progress 59 cargo craft that launched uh, almost three and a half hours ago uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. We're standing by for any additional information in the wake of this pass over Russian ground stations.
Moscow Station Space Travel 1 for UDOD. Go ahead. I'm done with step 7.7. I'm done with step 7.7. I completed the form after stage 1. And then uh, I stepped away because I needed to. And I shut down the back of AS. For two minutes, and I reconnected when I was back. Before the next stage, and it got me going uh, into a calibration all over again. How do I get into 7.8 quicker? Unfortunately, you'll have to redo all the steps because activation of the back of AS means that it didn't save any data, and it completely disconnected, so you need to redo it. That's not good. You shouldn't have shut it down ever. Okay, I'll do it again. It should have been uh, highlighted in red or something. Okay, we'll take that into consideration. Yeah, because it's a three-hour experiment, you know, we're human beings, I needed to step away. Yeah. Unfortunately, yes, if at all possible.
This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, here in the uh, International Space Station Flight Control Room, uh, the visiting vehicle officer, Heidi Paris, has passed on to Flight Director Jeff Radigan uh, that the latest uh, ground station pass uh, by the uh, unpiloted ISS Progress 59 cargo ship uh, yielded no joy in uh, either uh, the ability of the Russian flight controllers to send commands to the spacecraft or the uh, resulting uh, receipt of telemetry on the ground. Uh, to recap, uh, the uh, Progress launched on time uh, some uh, three and a half hours ago at uh, 2.09 a.m. Central Time, 1.09 p.m. Uh, Baikonur Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Uh, the Progress uh, had a nominal ascent to its preliminary orbit, separating from the uh, third stage of the Soyuz booster as planned. But at that point, a telemetry issue cropped up, and uh, there was no uh, data uh, being received uh, in the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev outside Moscow that confirmed uh, the deployment of navigational antennas uh, or the repressurization of the manifold system in the uh, propulsion system of the Progress uh, cargo vehicle. Uh, there was a confirmation uh, received of the, the deployment of solar arrays to provide electrical power for the Progress, but not a confirmation of uh, the deployment of those navigational antennas uh, that are needed uh, to guide the Progress in for its uh, automated uh, rendezvous and docking to the International Space Station. As a result, uh, a few minutes later, uh, the Russian flight controllers uh, determined uh, that they would not be able to pursue a fast-track four-orbit six-hour rendezvous with the International Space Station as planned today, uh, deferring uh, to a backup 34-orbit uh, two-day rendezvous plan, which is carried as a backup capability on all unpiloted progress and manned Soyuz spacecraft that are launched to the International Space Station. So uh, with no rendezvous uh, capability uh, in play for today, uh, over the last uh, two orbits over Russian ground stations, additional efforts were made uh, by the Russian flight control team to send commands uh, through the uh, telemetry system on the Progress vehicle uh, so that data could be received on the ground. Uh, but an hour and a half ago, and again uh, within the hour, uh, there was no joy in receiving telemetry on either of those two passes. The next opportunity to pass over Russian ground stations on what is called Daily Orbit 3 uh, for the Russian uh, flight control team is about 55 minutes from now uh, at about uh, 6.44 uh, a.m. Central Time, 7.44 a.m. Eastern Time. So we'll sign off for the moment uh, as we continue uh, to try to establish a uh, stream of telemetry from Progress 59 and uh, for the Russian flight control team to establish a communications link uh, with the spacecraft. We will resume our Progress 59 coverage this morning at 6.30 Central Time, 7.30 Eastern Time, just ahead of the next ground station pass for Progress over Russian ground stations. Until then, uh, we'll be back on the air uh, within uh, the next 40 minutes at the bottom of the hour at 6.30 Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.